love line. Amanda, that's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Some 41 in here uh, next week. The Donna's Papa Roach. Big uh, musical week next week. And uh, popped a zit on my back today, Drew. Oh, congratulations. Pow. Did you drop something into it or did you squeeze? Yes, I dropped a lance into yeah, it. Yeah. I pinned it. And that baby. Just and, blue. And it hit the mirror. Nice. Like uh, like like it was fired out of a cannon. <laughs> like, you know, they, they test uh, the... Uh, impellers on jet engines by firing birds at them that's a tough gig what? for a bird yeah fire birds out of a cannon at them what mm-hmm. I've, to, I've never heard of this well why well how do you think all right you gotta then we're getting back to my sit okay yeah yeah that's the velocity to hit the mirror with by the way just pow awesome yeah nothing better you never outgrow that i want to hear more about the bird going through the jet propeller well if you're if you're building jet engines yeah. for a commercial aircraft yeah. or military or any application, yeah. they got to be able to handle a seagull being sucked getting, in. getting sucked into them. Yeah, yeah. And they got to be able to handle that seagull sometimes going at fast four or five hundred miles an hour. Oh, I see. And the only way to really, really, I mean, to really know if that jet impeller are is they gonna live s- seagulls? No, they're yeah, already dead. yeah, they're they're live. Yeah. They're live, and their families are there to watch. Okay, they good. bring their families there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, why, w- yeah. They fly. They bring the families in, thought, and uh, they force they force them to watch. Right. And it's and a now sort they of fire a, more than one. It's a of, Sophie's choice kind what, what of thing. What if you go into a the flock parents, of them? They'll Do you take fire the a bunch of, of them? the seagull. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they have a machine gun that can fire mm. uh, birds. I think actually they do. Uh, they do. I'm not. I don't think they freeze them either. Uh, they they will do. They'll do frozen things too. But they mm. take these birds, they put them in a cannon, huh. and they fire them into jet engines. Wow, interesting. Yeah, huh. tough gig for the for the cleanup crew. Yeah, you know it'd be nice. Not to mention the bird. You know it'd be great. I'd love just to get. Um, one of these nut jobs like uh, Betty White or one of these PETA retards or something like that. Just force them to sit down and watch this. All right, load up the next seagull. There we go. Fire. <laughs> just, just, oh, it's just a cloud of feathers. But I guess, you know, I mean, you can't, you know, you can't, take, the a, way to do can't it. take a piece of styrofoam and, and put, stick feathers to it. No, it's got to withstand, and I imagine a few of them at once, right? Yeah. Once in a while. Yeah. Uh, they uh, they fire birds at yeah. uh, at the thing, yeah. but uh, as far as a bird goes, like it's like, look, uh, you're gonna be killed. You're gonna you're gonna be eaten. Oh no, wait a minute. Over in this line, yeah, it's gotta be like, oh my god, wait, what could be worse than being killed and being devoured on Thanksgiving or something? Oh, you're going in. <laughs> Here it is. You're going in the DC ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a bad that is a bad gig, but. But uh, a weird and bizarre job forever has to administer it or has to load yeah. up that cannon. Wow. Awesome. Oh, who is that guy? I want to talk to him. Decent gig. And then uh, you just got to hate birds. Right. And then, uh, and then you know, the other cool gig is the guy, uh, the falconer, down at the uh, at the airport. Oh, yeah. A falcon. Go fly those birds off with a falcon. They, they routinely do that? Yeah. A lot, f- airports, a lot of airports have falcons. Really? And yeah. The, and what, they just keep the place? Well, if you think about all these airports... Half of them are just, you know, on the edge of the water. Oh, and stuff. I was wondering why the seagulls didn't get sucked in more often. And, and it's just tons of, uh, you know, yeah, aquatic birds. And yeah. then, and then, and a lot of it, you know, I don't know, New York, New Jersey, where it's like marshland and stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's tons of wildlife. You don't do it in the middle of the city right, oftentimes. Right, right. There's tons of birds. Huh. They get a falcon. They just go run them off. Just one falcon will do it? They have a whole bunch of them. Ah, no, it's not. Yeah. And then they, they form the shape of an arrow or no bee and they sting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it's one falcon. <laughs> a, a big guy with a hammer. <laughs> How badass are falcons? They just let, let them go in one area and the birds all go away. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. 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 Birds Birds are mean, Drew. Bur- I believe the birds have an intuitive sense that ex- it exceeds anything we sort of understand. I believe I mean, they're about it. super stupid and angry. They're not intellectually smart, but they, I mean, think. You they're can, not book smart. But you can fly. You know, a thousand, two or three thousand feet up in the air and spot a field mouse and and gr- grab it. Yeah, really. That's yeah. what the falcon can do. Ha- yeah, what? I don't know. Good eyesight. How about the part where you just fly uh, three thousand miles? Yeah, you know to do that. Yeah, I'm ignoring Anderson. Yeah, no. 
Hey, man, Anderson, you know what that does, don't you? Yeah. You just, you just, just got, got, yourself you got five another more 40 minutes. minutes of bird time. Actually, you know what? We have a, a visitor in here tonight. I was just explaining that that's, it would have the reverse effect, and I was just proving my point. Uh huh. Well, well done, Anderson. Well, having said that now, let's get to the right call. to the phone, <laughs> smartass. Uh huh. <laughs>